Brooklyn tells the story of a young girl, Ailish, who um, emigrates to Brooklyn from Ireland in the early 50s and who then has to return home because of a tragedy and is then faced with a, a dilemma, a choice, basically between two countries and two men. Ireland must seem very backward to you now. Is that Jim Farrell I saw? He's a catch for someone. I have a life halfway across the sea. Your life here could be just as good. If you go back, I have no but I want you to stay here with me. Home is home. Uh, I had actually read the novel a couple of years before I even heard about the the story being made into a film. So I had read it already. Um, and I think I kind of referred back to it a few times uh, in the space of time between when I had signed on to when we actually made the movie. I went back to it a little bit because it, it was just, it was quite informative when it came to her relationship with her dad and um, the earlier section in Ireland. Um, but I think once we got into it, we were so bloody lucky with the script that we had it really was so terrific and there were I mean there were no changes to make so um, so once we actually started to shoot I was just kind of very focused on that I read the book after I was after I'd read the script mm -hmm. and after I'd been uh, cast because I think it you can if you read the, I find if I read the novel first I can end up imagining things in the film that aren't there um, and so actually I'm better off just taking the script on its own merits and really working on that and then use the novel for backstory and stuff. But actually once I started reading, the novel is amazing. So it was just fun to read that anyway um, and then use little bits of that for, you know, for the, for the filming process. But really the reason for me to do it was the script was great and Search is amazing and John's amazing and that was the reason I got involved. No, we, we did do a lot of um, research with Francois Seguin, who's our a brilliant production designer. Um, because, you know, it, it, it's not quite the 50s that we think of in terms of it being pop culture, you know. I mean, it really is sort of um, post-war look to everything. So we, um, yeah, we looked at vast numbers of photographs to get the, the look and then to begin to sort of construct how the worlds might contrast each other, but also how they would echo each other, you know, because the whole film is sort of constructed on pairs, on, on doubleness. In the middle of doing all the reading about emigration, particularly this is, as you say, it's very specific, and, and there are three big waves of emigration from Ireland. There's the post-famine, there's the post-war through the 50s in particular, and then the 1980s. And this is very specific. And, but the only other account of a female point of view is actually in Heinrich Boll's book, uh, which is uh, called his, his Irish Notebook. Um, and that's what was so fresh and new and gave the story um, a, an emotional immediacy, which makes it not feel just like a period piece, if, if by that you sort of mean it's sort of distant from us, you know. And, and, and that informed the whole approach to the filmmaking, that we, we threw away the period stuff very lightly, because I was much more interested in their faces, as it were, and in, and in what's going on inside them. It's also such an interesting time, I think, regardless of the, the period, to follow a young woman, you know? Because um, I think you even saw with me, I was 20 when we did it, and I certainly felt that as soon as I hit that age, this whole other world had sort of opened up and everything was shifting for me. And I think it does for a lot of women, you know? It is definitely those first few steps into young womanhood um, where you're kind of um, starting to sort of define who you are when it comes to your work and your relationships and um, your family and all these different things and, and that's something that in general just hasn't really been explored that much I don't think in film um, and it's such an interesting time for, for a woman so that was really exciting as well.